traveling. But I feel like the sports now, because they're year round, it is so hard to, uh, from a financial standpoint, uh, time, yeah. but also like these sports now all overlap. So it's really hard now to, if your kid is excelling in both, uh, you know, two travel sports, uh, like there's that pressure. I don't know if it's the system that kind of puts right. on the parents to kind of like, you have to pick one. I don't know if you have a take on that. I do. Um, a, a lot of the problems that I have is that you're, you're handpicking a perfect scenario for your, for your child. And I don't think that happens. I think your child creates that because of the friendships that they're on. Uh, you don't have to be on the best team that wins the championships and the trophies all the time. You need playing time and you need relationships. Um, the reason why I say that is that there's so many people that try to handpick that uh, successful scenario. Um, there's worth in learning how to lose. There's worth in understanding that my son or daughter is performing at a level that they really enjoy. Uh, I'm not saying losing all the time is good either. I think there's a combination that you have to look for. Um, but also, I, I really do believe that your son or daughter is going to tell you what they really enjoy or what they want.